Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper Vision. This is podcast number three. You can um, also listen to us on Spotify and also, I think, Apple. Right. <laughs> I think. Uh, definitely Anchor. Anchor, Spotify, and Apple. I've connected it with Apple. I think there is a way of doing it. But anyway, just go to Spotify. Everyone's got Spotify. However, I much prefer you to go on to YouTube. Yeah. And subscribe and do the thing. And also, if you're in the para into paranormal and like a funny version of the paranormal, go and check out my main channel, Casper Site. And do the thing. About that one, yeah, you? I know, isn't it? Oh, Casper, which one? Well, uh, no, because I'm just thinking about that bloody neon, mate. Look how pro it looks. It's so sick, mate, and I love it. Maximum money, please. <laughs> <laughs> Was it a lot? Was it? I thought you got it from Ali AliExpress about twenty nine ninety nine. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, talk like three hundred and fifty quid. Yeah, man, they're a lot of money. Three hundred and fifty quid, mate. Is it proper neon thing, man? I don't know. Is it like well, the the title the, the the website was Neon Filter? I remember when I was a kid, mate. I wanted neons under my car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Put some neons on it. Man. They're illegal, aren't they? I don't know. I think they're illegal if illegal. you're driving with them on. Right. You can park up and turn them on. Right. Right. Every, but everything's illegal now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, so we were thinking long and hard today about we wanted to do. Well, first of all, I think the success of Simon Scribb's podcast amazing. Like the feedback, mate. It was amazing, mate. Every every question, every comment on there was amazing. Yeah, big shout out to the Casperians. Yeah, and big shout out to Simon for doing it first one. Oh, taking no, that no. Yeah, you got to shout him <laughs> out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, mate, he's like you. You can tell he's a natural. He's been doing these podcasts for a long time. Well, he's obviously he's got two podcasts himself, hasn't he? Yeah, but no, a bit he, fashionable at the minute, isn't it? Podcast. It is. There's a couple of YouTubers I I follow, and recently, like one today, that uh, Matty Haposia, is it or whatever he's called? Do you know that guy? No. From there, he's, he's um Ian McKinnon's mate. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Is it Ian yeah, McKinnon? the one who looks like he's like squinting. Is it Ian McKinnon? Peter McKinnon. P Peter McKinnon. What am I on about with Ian? You're thinking yeah. Ian, aren't you? Oh, yeah, there's a bit of a clue for this weekend. Yeah. Our, 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 like, um, our guest, which is gonna be so fucking good, man. It's good, man. Yeah, I'm, excited, I'm so but not as excited as you. You're like, I'm buzzing. Like, like I'm so, fu I'm so fucking buzzing. About I'm excited, it. mate. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Um, but no, Peter McKinnon. And his mate is the one that looks like he's squinting yeah. a lot. Yeah, Matty. <laughs> like he's always looking at the he's, sun. Yeah, but he's he's just on a podcast today. Yeah. So it's becoming more and more popular. Oh, he's doing one. He's just done what, one What, about today? photography? He got someone in, Jake Fru, I think he was called, this this fella on YouTube. Right. I watched his video, mate, and I followed, I, I watched one video, I was like, yeah, he's amazing. Yeah? Jake Fru, yeah, he's a like, photographer. He does solo B-roll. Right. So he's solo guy on his own, young lad. Goes in a van. He's, he's van life. He lives in a van. Goes out, just records himself. He does like B roll himself and stuff. It's just amazing. It's amazing, mate. It's really ma good. Just trying to think how much like like content he would get from that. Did he get a lot of content? I don't know. I suppose I, I suppose he it's can just, just drive out in a different location. Here I am in this location, no, and then I, like I bet you. Guaranteed, was there B-roll of him making a cup of coffee? No. No, yeah, actually, <laughs> always wasn't. make cups of coffee. Yeah. I've even done, yeah. I've even done uh, B-roll with cups of coffee. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, yeah. Little, yeah, man. No, it was uh, the one I watched today. It was like an inspirational type about COVID, about right. what he's learned from COVID. And it's taught him to like um, live for the moment. Okay. Live for now, you know. Don't wait for shit. Then is he yeah. like? Has he lost somebody through COVID or something? No, I don't. I don't. He didn't say. Because that's quite a yeah, like a inspirational type. Yeah, yeah. Moment of, oh my god. Yeah. It must have hit him I quite think, hard. I think there's, it's the fact that isolation. Yeah. That's, that's what I think. That's what's hit him because one of the videos he's on a table tennis thing outdoors, a table tennis table. Yeah. And he's he hits the ball. And it falls off your head. Put your mic then he goes, he goes around the other side, picks a ball up. <laughs> you know, just playing with himself. Well, like... couldn't he have just pushed it up against the wall? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it was like, it, yeah, it was inspirational, mate. It was a good video. Yeah. Yeah, I like the kid. Mm. Well, today, like I say, we were going to go towards, um, we're thinking about what we're going to do. Yeah. Right. And we thought, well, I want a topic. And um, so what I did today 
is I posted on YouTube on the community tab to the Casperians. If you had a question, what would it be? If you had a question to me, what would it be? And I'm so sorry, mate. I should have said you and me. If you had a question for right. me, me and Mace. It's all right, mate. But I can ask you a few questions. Yeah, mate. A lot or of the you, questions, you, we them, can both, they might be open-ended. They can ask either way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so, just don't and ask also how I've, tall I, I am. I, I, <laughs> And also I got <laughs> <laughs> also got on um Twitter as well. All right. Yeah. Okay. So I was thinking we could do some of that. I haven't looked at Twitter, mate. I've only looked at, I've got questions here. You're not even on Twitter, are you? Yeah, but I don't use it. I'm not very good with socials, mate. I should get better. You should, man. I should Especially definitely. for your bloody Facebook yeah. page. Yeah, yeah. Oh mate, there's That's loads. your opportunity to shout out there, mate. Well, nah. It's all right, bud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. It's all okay. Good. Are we gonna, are we going to do the questions then? We're yeah, going to go straight into the questions. We can ask a question. How many questions? How many? One hundred and ten uh, comments. Oh shit! That's a lot. It's going to be hard, isn't it? That's what she said. <laughs> Will you go to the suicide forest in Japan? No. Please, no. Nah. There's um. I should have prepared. Would you? Really. Would, you would you? What do you mean you should have prepared? I should have prepared really and found some like comments that were quite good instead of just going through it. I could, I could just read anything <laughs> here, can I? No, solve it. Do, read it, mate. I don't want to doctor them. Like, you know, vet them even. Doctor, vet, same fucking thing. If Rambo came to your house and wanted to Rambo it, <laughs> what would it be? And why would Rambo Rambo it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Who's that? You've got to say their names. Uh, Takito Violator. <laughs> 58 minutes ago. If Rambo came to my house... And wanted to Rambo it. What would it be? And why would Rambo Rambo it? I, that's just, oh, just... I think... Is that actually a legit question? I have no idea, dude. I have no if idea. Rambo came round to the house, he would probably try to Rambo me. Yeah, I reckon he but would. But I would just Rambo it. Yeah. And he would be like, yeah, we just Ramboed it. And I'd be like, yeah, I'll get the F off my property. Joanna Stone, if you could choose a superpower, what would it be and why? Flight. Just flying. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even have to think about that because I, 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 that's that's question. I, I, I've been asked that before. Yeah. Definitely flight. You would say invisible because you're like, you're, you're, you're just weird. You just want to <laughs> hang out in women. You're on women. <laughs> you just want to perv. Yeah, but you'd have to be quiet because I'd hear you. No, because I'm only small, mate. They, <laughs> they wouldn't hear me, would they? They wouldn't have to sneak in. <laughs> No, invisibility would be good because you could pretty much do anything, couldn't you? You know? Not just for like pervy shit. But you Not could, just for pervy shit, but, but that's be the main... You could just walk into a bank, mate, and just, you know... So you'd want to be a criminal, that's not what you're saying? Well, probably. Yeah. Wouldn't you? Yeah, but what's the point of being invisible? Well, you could... You could rob shit. <laughs> okay, but... <laughs> you could... But you don't want to be doing that, do you? Yeah, to be fair, mate, yeah. You could rob if shit you anyway. Say that, yeah, it's what probably is the a point? pretty shit one, isn't it? Yeah. But the invisible man's cool, isn't it? You know? What? You could hayuke in someone in the back of the neck as they're walking down the street. So then you want to assault, so you want to be a robber and yeah. insult, uh, could, assault people. You could wait for like, someone to walk behind <clears> you and then just crack you around the back of the head and you turn around and fight them. Nah, it's a bit shit. I think it would get pretty boring. Yeah. To fly, mate, would just be like... It'd be amazing. Yeah. I'm just going down co-op. Yeah, fly would be good. Just going to go to Barbados. Oh, what about like, if you could just, what was that film? Teleport. Jumper. You just close your eyes, think about a place and you're there. Imagine that. Is that jumper? I would, I would prefer to fly. Oh, no, but it'd take fucking ages. Oh, I'm going to go Barbados. How, how fast can you go? You know, Like so Superman. Yeah, but he can go around the world like 20 times in a second, can he? He, well, can, he can travel. He can make the world spin the other way. <laughs> and reverse time. Yeah, I, that's man. Superman 3, isn't it? I think so. I see when he, when he goes, no! <laughs> and it goes, oh! oh! <laughs> echoes. Yeah, man. And Your the... memory's so good with films. Mine's so shit, man. Yeah? Yeah. But no, definitely flying. Yeah, yeah. But I, the reason I wouldn't want to time travel, like, or sorry, jump. Yeah, is because flying, the sensation of flying, that's the whole thing about it. It's not about just getting. You get bored of it. 
After half an hour, you'd be like, yeah, it's fucking climbing. Yeah, but how boring would it be just going, and then you're somewhere else? Yeah, but else. I think, well, yeah. I'm just arguing for the sake of arguing. <laughs> yeah, but I, I think, think you are. After half an hour of flying, you'd probably think, do you know what? It'd be a lot better if I could just get there. Nah. Nah? Nah. No, I think so. No, nah, just wrap up warm. All right. Big, big fucking coats, <laughs> gloves, and <laughs> got pretty nippy with the pants there, Harry. Harry, <laughs> your hands are freezing. Harry, take his extra pair of gloves. Yeah. You said it last night on Twitch. What? You said something. Uh, what, did, what did he say before he had these extra pair of gloves? You, you mean you had the? No, he said something before. Before you said it on Twitch last night, and I commented. He had these extra pair of gloves. <laughs> All this time. Yeah, that's we're it. We're in the Rockies. All this. Oh, what was it? it you was mean when... to tell me you had these extra pair of gloves it all this the, time? The line before that. Oh, oh, um, hey, your hand, you seem pretty cold. Here, have these extra pair of gloves. That's what he says. Oh, was it? Yeah, you said something on um, X X Files last night. Anyway, another question. Okay, you're such an entertaining guy. Have you thought about doing your own ghost hunting series? I'm positive a lot of us would enjoy that. A series. That's Eddie Oi. I'm assuming he's American. That's why I spoke American. Eddie Oi. Why? Why would you assume that? I don't know. But we all we've already done ghost hunting stuff, haven't we? Yeah, but he's talking about a series, like um, that he once a week. Right. Like a yeah. No, I I no, I wouldn't want to do that. What What do you think? I think it'd be too much pressure. Yeah, I think it would. We do it for fun, to do something different, to freshen it up. I think it'd be too much pressure. And then I think you'd be forced to start, start, you know, yeah. pushing things. Oh, nothing's and, happening. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I yeah. mean, just imagine if you went on a, a, a location, nothing happened. And you go, oh, Christ, we, we've got to do a video. And then the next week, nothing happened. Mm. Not, ne you know? Yeah. So. Well, we've had ones like that, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, not nothing, but we've had ghost no. hunts that have been like not much has happened at yeah. all, really. And then we've had that last one we did was fucking mental. Mm. There is that one idea that I had, which I think I, I thought is, I've never seen anybody do it before. What's that? And I would love to do it. What? Is where you and me, we do a, a movie, a short movie. Like Daz Black. Oh, he does movies, doesn't he? Have you seen some of his movies? No. Yeah, good, man. But we do it like we, we do a short movie, say, for example, 20 minutes. Mm. And in my reactions, my reaction videos, in the middle of a video or randomly placed, I'll put in 10 seconds right, yeah, yeah. of a video. Right. Literally 10 seconds, not me, but literally go, 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 right. and it starts with the intro and everything like that. And then the next video would be another 10 seconds just added on. Right. And then at the end of, say, I don't know, a month or two, yeah, you would have seen the whole thing. And then when once the whole thing's finished, I'll release the whole video front to back. Nice, man. So it would give people anticipation of what's going to yeah, happen for the next... You'd be good at that. You'd be good at doing the films. Definitely, man. Well, with your camera work and stuff like that. Well, we'll, we'll both, we both get in there, mate. Well, yeah. You more than me. You're a better actor than me, mate. Well... But, yeah. Oh, you could dress me up, mate. Put loads of fucking manky shit on me. I could be like a monster or something <laughs> that attacks you. Or put me in a black suit and I could be a child shadow bastard. Come on. <laughs> shadow bastard. <laughs> but that's 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 one thing that I thought about doing. Next. Have you ever thought about coming to the US and ghost hunt at some of the most famous places? What? Did you hear that then? What? Hello? I've only got sound coming out of one side. Hello, hello. Mate, what the fuck's going on? Technical difficulties. Hello? Tell me about technical difficulties, hello, mate. Hello, hello. That's better now. Is that better? Yeah, I lost it in the left ear, mate. Um, yeah, have you ever thought about going to the US and ghost hunt at some of the most famous places? I would like to. I've never really thought about it because the I, I mean... Now COVID's over, mate. You can travel again. Anyway, it's not over, but whenever you can I travel, can you? Whenever I think about traveling, going somewhere, I, I automatically think the family. Yeah, yeah, same. Like, I'm the same, we, We've got to go on holiday. holiday where are yeah. we going to go? We can't leave the kids. Yeah. yeah. As... To up ship and just go on a random... But you could. Oh, yeah, I could. Summer holidays, you could wrap them all up, take them to Disneyland. Yeah, yeah. 
kill two birds one stone. Put me in your case. Yeah. You know, I'd probably fit. Oh, Shep's gone on holiday today. Shepperton, he's gone to Greece. Right? Is he? Yeah, I want nice. to get in his case. Oh, yeah, I forgot. He's, yeah, he said that. Yeah. <clears throat> um, But I would love to go to America and do different places because I think some of the scenery yeah. in America, man, oh, I mean, man. not even some of it. But it's massive, isn't it? Yeah. America's massive, man, Yeah, you know? But even just some of the derelict buildings and stuff. If you have a derelict building in England, it looks like a a swatter's place, you know, yeah. just a, a rundown... Someone's had a shit brick. in the corner. Yeah. yeah, and obviously that's what we're used to. Mm. But when you when you look at derelict places in the States, it's all that... The Asylum. Stereotyp- it's all... <laughs> yeah, and, and, and it's all sort of like these wooden houses that you what's that film with ryan reynolds where he goes crazy um it was a remake oh man Don't know that one. You, they move into this they move into this house amateurville horror oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. it's like that stereotypical amateurville horror wooden house yeah, yeah. you know all, all the paints peeling and stuff like that. It just looks amazing. The yeah. amount of B-roll and photography oh. you can get on there. And there's always like a tree in the corner and just looks so picturesque. You know, I'd love to go to places like that. And, and, and you know, the graveyards and stuff. Are, there seems to be a hell of a lot of like paranormal, like haunted places in America, isn't there? Yeah. You're like look at Twin Paranormal and stuff. They, they go to different places all the time. They yeah. do videos every week. It's yeah. like, we did a couple. You sort of... I, we didn't travel, you know, we could travel up yeah. up north somewhere and maybe... But if you think about it, there's going to be more, there should technically be more, radius-wise, yeah. in England, because we're the older country. Yeah, By, maybe, by yeah. a country mile. Well, to be fair, though, it's tiny, isn't it? It's tiny, tiny but what island. I'm talking about is how concentrated. If you were to take, you know, the shape of England and pop it into America... Yeah, yeah. Mile by mile, we're probably going to have a masses amount more spirits and God knows yeah, what. Yeah, prob- probably because of the, the just literally the age. Yeah, yeah. You know, so but no, I'd love, to, I would love to, and one day I will. Ooh, L Twiz, L, L Twiz, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you were told you had to live the rest of your life in a room by yourself and could only take three movies with you, what would they be? Three films. Three films. Matrix. The Matrix. Yeah. You've probably already seen that though a hundred times, haven't you? Yeah, but it... Would you want to watch that amazing. another hundred times? Oof. That's that's a hard question, to be fair. Um, Probably a porno. What, me? Yeah. <laughs> but in fact, probably three pornos. <laughs> it would have to be though. Let's not be around the bush. That's what she said. Well, it depends if you're with your missus or not, doesn't it? It said on your own, right? Oh, did it? No. Um. Oh, yeah, yeah. By yourself. Yeah. 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 Mine would be... Imagine that. A video of my kids. Another video of my kids. And then uh, uh, and then another video of my kids. <laughs> you whatever, <laughs> mate. <laughs> no, it'll be The Matrix porno. Um, and... A nature program. Oh, yeah. So I can... What, with, do- with animals? <laughs> like an animal porn. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, seeing hell. like ghost the, anywhere. <laughs> seeing the forest and out like the water and. Do you know what I mean? I know what you mean, bro. Yeah, um, yeah something yeah. like that. So I can just imagine what it's like to be outside. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know? Imagine that though, being stuck. Yeah. Have you or your wife ever had your own spooky experience in your life? Um. Nancy has. Nancy has. Yeah. Oh, she's told you about it. Yeah. Yeah. She, she yeah, she, uh, she did once. I don't think it was something, it, it was questionable, mm. but I think, she, you know, because she's, she's um, really quite religious as well, and you know, but yeah, yeah. I, nothing for me. No? No. I, I mean, when I was younger, <clears throat> when I was younger, I had... And when I started doing like tarot cards and meditations and stuff like that, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I had feelings that I was, I could sense presence around things, around spirits, around, I would see things running past a window. Right. Yeah. 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 Like, what was that? You know? Right. Because I remember in the back of my old house, my bedroom, my, my window is here. And then next to it on the left was the garage where my stepdad used to do weights every day. Right. 
And so sometimes I would see him walk past to go into the garage. But I would see that, but then he would be in the kitchen or something, you know? Fuck. Yeah. But... But you said once you start going into spiritual stuff and dabbling, then your mind opens up. See, and maybe you do well, start seeing shit. But the thing is, does your mind open up, or do you just, or do you just start believing shit. in stuff? Do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, that, that's yeah. it. There is that, and that's exactly why I stopped doing tarot cards. Yeah, yeah. Because I was reading people's tarot cards without cards and getting stuff right. Right. And I was like, am I just good at reading people? Yeah, probably. You know, yeah. am I just good at? I had yeah. one. I had one thing, mate. Was before I moved down to Cornwall. I think we moved when I was... I oh, can't remember how old I was. I must have been about 10 when yeah. we moved here. But before that, we had a couple of holidays down here. And my old man's sister lived in where I live now. Yeah. And she lived in that um, house, which backed onto that graveyard. Remember when you came around to my place and we walked down the town yeah, with yeah, the yeah. cameras? Yeah. There's a place, a little cottage, and the back wall is probably the height of this. And literally just there is the graveyard. So yeah. behind that wall, there's people buried there. Yeah, and um, and she was a medium. His sister, mm. she could speak to. Apparently, she could speak to the spirits. Mm. And there was a little girl apparently at the house. I knew nothing about this, but when we stayed there, we stayed there for a week on holiday. I was I must have been eight, nine. Yeah, I remember waking up in the middle of the night, and someone was sat on my legs, and they felt wet. Oh, what? Yeah, and I said like some someone was sat on my legs, mate. And I, at what the your time, legs felt wet. Yeah, I felt wet. My legs felt wet, but I've tried to move my legs and it was like someone was like sat on me. You know, when you know, yeah, you know yeah, when yeah. someone sat on you, don't you? You yeah. try and pull your legs out. Yeah. I tried to pull my legs and I couldn't pull them like they were trapped. Oh, mate. Thought nothing of it. Like, I, I, I think I just fell back to sleep or I, I thought maybe I'm dreaming or fuck knows. But afterwards, I found out that there's a ghost of a little girl there and that was her room where I was sleeping. <laughs> so I thought maybe it was oh, her. Maybe she was mate. sat on my legs or something. But I remember that really well. I remember waking up, and that's the only ever... Like, after my mum told <clears> me that, when I was probably about 11 or 12, mum told me about that. Yeah. And, um, yeah. That's thought, weird. Yeah. That's the only weird thing that's ever happened to me where there's been, like... Yeah, something I can explain. Yeah. I, um... I... Uh, the most scared I've been was I remember when I, when I was younger, I had this flu, and I had this nightmare... Oh, he's hallucinating. Yeah. Yeah. Like. Oh, mate. The the hallucinations were actually, I felt, were so real. Yeah. Oh, man. It's so strange. So strange. It sounds stupid. But I'll quickly go into it because I want to go on to the questions. But the dream was I was walking down... I was walking down the street. It makes me go fucking cringy now just thinking about it. I was walking down the street and um, my, my uh, footsteps were going between the cracks. It's a bit like that Jack Nicholson, got to walk between the lines. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it, the moment I stepped on a crack, this missile would come towards me and blow up the world. All right. And I would literally come awake and actually sit there in sweats thinking I've blown up the world. Fuck. Yeah. But then also, as I'm walking, I would see this woman's face, all smooth skin, so smooth, not one wrinkle, not one freckle spot or anything, mate. And then it just goes wrinkly, like fuck, like proper wrinkly. Like a witch. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, mate. And I would see that vis vision all the time. Boom, boom, boom. And then I'd be walking on the steps. And, uh, mate, what, it was horrible. like replaying. Yeah, replaying over and over and oh. over and over. <laughs> oh, my, I've got the, got, oh, mate, I've got the chicken now. I was just thinking about it. Fuck. Yeah. I don't think I've ever had flu like that. Oh, mate. Yeah. Never had problems. I remember my stepdad, like, he, he showed very little sort of passion towards me. Mm. There was sometimes, it came in spits and spirits, but <clears throat> he actually came into my room and he, he crouched down by the bed. Mm. I remember looking at him and going, what's, um, what's happening to me? I said to him, what's happening to me? And he's like, it's all right, man. You're just a little bit poorly. Go, go, to, a, bit, go to bed. Got a wee bit of hell for you. Have a hot toddy. <laughs> yeah. And I'll tuck you in. <coughs> yeah. Fuck. Favourite ghost hunt that have done so far with me? Bodmin. Little bunny gamer. Bodmin, mate. Yeah, mine was Bodmin, fo closely followed by the woods that we did last time. Yeah. Yeah. I think that the woods was the best result, I think. Uh, and what we had is... It was just that ad hoc, great, yeah. what the hell is happening? Yeah. But the whole build-up to Bodmin, 
it was the haunted the most one of the most haunted places in England. Mm. I rented out the whole place. We were so bought, excited, weren't we, man? You know? Yeah. I felt like such a gangster. We went, mate, I was almost fucking, I was so gutted, mate. You know, when we walked in and they were like, oh, no. It, it almost didn't happen, oh, did it? Yeah, remember? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They said, yeah. oh, no, I can't remember what they said, but I thought, we I got, instantly just thought, fucking hell, they're going to say we can't do it. Yeah. yeah. I remember, we, we still got to invite Kirsten on this. Yeah, yeah, it's a good yeah. point, mate. Yeah. yeah. She was fucking Brilliant, crazy, actually, man. Yeah, she yeah. was so funny, man. Yeah. I was just, she made that night. Yeah. I was like, she proper scared me. (laughs) Proper scared me. Oh, mate, there's so many questions. I don't know if you can read them all. No. Can't go for 104. Um, Whatever it was, 154, whatever. What do you have the most passion about? That's from Cameron O'Connor. He's he's, a few questions, but what are you most passionate about? What? About YouTube? Biggest, biggest, it just says I have a few. What do you have the most passion about? What fuels you to continue to make content? And would you ever consider coming over here to Alaska to investigate our ghost stories? Alaska, man, that'd be amazing. Like Canada, that's fucking unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah. Beautiful yeah. place. Um, what fuels you to continue to make more content? Uh, literally, the, 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 the thought and the, the feeling of entertaining people. Making people happy and laugh. Yeah. You've always had that. Always, right? mate. Right. You've from, always been from, like that. From a little child. I saw a comment the other day, so you said that. You said, all you want to do is, on the last podcast, you said, all I want to do is make people happy. Mm. And one of the comments was, well, if that's all you want to do, Ben, you've made it. Yeah. So I, was, I thought yeah, that was a fucking nice, awesome man. comment. It does, mate. It, honestly, um, yeah. you know, I, I think also just the feeling of progression. Yeah. When things start to go like, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, when things plateau. Yeah, yeah. I get a little bit itchy. Yeah. You know, I like I like progression. Yeah. You know, I like to it better you my... kick up the ass. Yeah, yeah. yeah I right. like to try to be innov- innovative. Yeah. You know. And there's another one from Harriet Bullock, and she says, what made you decide to start a YouTube channel? I'm always, curi- cu- I'm always curious as to the answers to this question. Love your reactions, mate. See, the thing is, I, I, normally I, I go for like a, 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 my default answer, which is, this, it is the same. But I don't actually remember. You got your VR, didn't you? Yeah, it was about VR, but... <clears throat> when you got your VR, did you think, I'm going to start a fucking YouTube channel, mate, and do VR gaming? Or well, was it the fact of you've always wanted to be a I, YouTuber? I, I, like, like I say, I don't know. I, I know that... I have to think back. I must have been watching somebody. Yeah. I yeah. must have been watching... I don't know. Who did I watch? Who did I used to watch? Was Poised out then? Was he doing it? Poised was a big inspiration. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I remember he was like, funny. Oh my god, he Poised. was so funny at the start when he was so his... damn funny. And I want to get him onto this podcast as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. In fact, he was a major. His his screams, his cries were just so, like so so funny. And um, I. Uh, and playing games, always uh, horror games, always used to scare the shit out of me, even for, like from like Silent Hill. The early one. You know, the, yeah. the reason why I like horror games so much is because, and the same same thing about horror movies, it's the only things really, and I don't know about you, but it gives me a physical feeling. I feel like a little rush, almost. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, yeah. it's not just a good film that yeah. entertained me. Horror it's it's a physical well. feeling that I'm getting. You enjoy the extremes of emotions. Yeah, yeah. It makes you feel alive, doesn't it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, definitely. And like, um, so I've always... Uh, Until you try and go to sleep at night. Yeah, <laughs> You're like, yeah. fucking hell, why don't I watch that? Yeah. <laughs> but no, I never really bought... Apart from, apart from the, um, the ring... And things like that. Paranormal activity was like oh, the, yeah, one of them yeah, for yeah. me that was like, holy shit. Yeah. yeah that scared me. But no, in a nutshell, um, I always wanted to be an actor from a young, young age. Yeah. Super young. I used to get my mum and brother and sister put up chairs to sit there and watch me do a movie, like a short movie. Yeah. You know? Um, I always wanted to do that. And then when VR started coming out, I was like, oh my God, I cannot wait for this. You, yeah, remember the conversations oh, we used man. to have when we, oh, imagine it. When yeah. We VR. yeah. Can you remember the first VR stuff that came out? How shit it was. <laughs> yeah. It was like the cardboard box. It was and like stuff. worse than Minecraft, yeah. wasn't it? Like, yeah. All the games were like yeah. just blocks. Yeah. It was like, and yeah. even that was good. Yeah. It was like, holy shit. 
so then I just put it all together. I was like, oh, let, you know, YouTube's good. I've started watching you, loads of YouTube, seeing these people doing gaming um, videos and things like that. I was like, I could do this. Yeah, yeah. And I would love to be, I would love to get to a point of where people watch me, actually tune in to watch me. Yeah. Because yeah. that's my taste of being on the movies. Yeah. You yeah. know, I love gaming. Yeah. Gaming since ga comp consoles have been out. Yeah. You know, you and me both. Yeah, man. We were addicted to it as kids, weren't so we? So it just ticked every single box. Yeah. And look at you now. Isn't it? Yeah, man. I'm going to unsub. <laughs> Sick of hearing it. <laughs> <laughs> Next question should be for you. Stimulus check. Would me, you rather me... be able to communicate with all the animals or speak every human language? <laughs> oh, what? Oh, every human language. Nah, all the animals. What? Yeah. What, what, what use? You come up with some bullshit. That's not what bullshit. Use, what use would that get? Are you having a laugh? Have you seen fucking Doctor Doolittle? Think of all the help you could do. All these animals can talk to you, mate. Oh, I've got a poorly leg. Oh. Well, you know oh. when, a poorly, when you know when a poorly uh, a legs uh, a legs poorly. You know when an animal's got a poorly legs. Yeah, it's fucking they limping. Tell you. They could tell you. It's saying, limp nah, biscuit. It's not. It's not. It's not my elbow. It's my shoulder. That's it. Yeah. Well, not just that. Wouldn't it be cool if you could talk to your fucking dog? No. Oh, yeah, You, mate. you can talk to dog. your dog. You can't. Come on, walkies. Yeah, it understands. No. Yeah, eat. <laughs> no. So, you're... Okay. I reckon you're just... You're just... I'm not disagreeing. Listen, mate. Listen, let me explain, right? All the animals, that's impossible. Yeah? You can't communicate with all the animals talking, like, and understand what they're saying and shit. So that's why I'd like to do that or speak every human language. You can mm. learn to do that shit. Yeah. Every human language. That you would could, take you a yeah. lot of lifetimes to be fluent in every single... Yeah. Do you know how many languages oh, there are? Yeah, crazy. Google it. Oh, it's probably shit loads. I'll Google it. How many languages are how many, how many languages are there? <laughs> There's 7,139 <laughs> languages. Holy shit, man. Hey, you can never learn all those. So uh, just imagine that. Imagine the work that you could get. Yeah. That'd imagine. Be... Oh, mate. It'd be, it'd yeah, be amazing. You couldn't, you couldn't and also, more. and also, what you would learn as well, um, like Latin. You'd know all the Latin names for stuff. Oh, that's your humility. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I hate that when they people do that. Oh, I fucking. I, like, I think it's great when they used to like give it all that. It's like. Yeah, no, yeah. definitely. So why would I want to learn that? I've never used that. And also just, you know, with your missus and you're in a restaurant. Oh, if you could order, mate, in Italian. <laughs> and she'd be like, oh, Ben, now oh, you can speak French. Yeah. And then I could speak Spanish to her. Yeah. And she would love that. Yeah. I've still got to learn Spanish, mate. I can't believe you haven't. Well, I was learning it before meeting Nancy. Yeah, but I can't believe like Nancy's not taught you. Well, it's having time, I guess, isn't it? You'd rather just enjoy it's not, yourself. It's not as so much time. It's just you just fall into the habit. Whereas she learned English so you know rapido. You, should, you know what you should do? You should say to her, right, Nancy, every every Friday. I've said it, mate. Every I've Friday, said it. you only talk Spanish to I've me. I've said it. And you'd be like, oh my god, dude. I have said that time and time again. Yeah, I've said it. Um, it just. It never happens. Yeah, but she wouldn't be things. able to because she wouldn't learn. You'd have to, she or you'd just say, "Look, every Saturday, you give me an." Hour. She'd have to just give you lessons, mate. Mm. Mm. There's, I don't know <clears> what. <throat> I'm just gonna scroll and then just pick one. Okay. I'm gonna look as well. <laughs> Who would win a fight between Rambo and Chuck Norris? <laughs> Rambo, <laughs> fucking hell! You just Rambo it. Rambo, have you ever shot a pistol? Random. Uh. I've shot a um, a replica of yeah. a Colt forty five and a Ber uh, Beretta Desert Eagle, nice. but not a real, not not a real one. I would like to. Do you know there's one in Newquay, mate? A shooting range. A shooting range in Newquay. Where? Um, no, there's not. There is my accountant. He's been there. Where? To the fucking gun shop. Yeah, but where is it? It's near like, uh, it's near, um, I think it's near. Why would you not hear, you'd, you'd expect to hear gun shots going off? Well, like... no, because it's probably soundproof, doesn't it? Well, fucking hell, man. Be some soundproofing. You tried to soundproof a gun range? I, th I think it's, I'm sure he said it's somewhere near the sports centre. Like when somewhere I shot those there. couple of people in my basement, <laughs> I had to fucking... <laughs> <laughs> But no, I'd like to. I've done an air rifle. 
but that's as far as it's gone. Oh, and um, uh, clay pigeon shooting. I've done that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, that hurt that's me cool. when I did that. Wimp. No oh, man, it was crazy. I had a bruise on my arm, dude. From what? The, from the top here, right? The, from there down to there, I had a purple bruise like that. Well, because you didn't snug it into your shoulder properly. Yeah, probably. It still hurt. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you a question. Oh really? I'm not very good with questions. Um. Hang on, I'm trying to find one which are. You try. You ask another one while I try to. Oh, what is your dream destination to travel to? Um, <clears throat> what for like a holiday? To travel. It doesn't to. have to be a holiday, mate. I would love to go to um. Where where is that place with all those huts in the water? It's turquoise water. Maldives. The Maldives. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. I used to. I was the same. I used to think. I'm not just disagreeing with you again. I used to think oh, I'd love to go to the Maldives, but I think after a day or two, mate, if it's just the hut and the water, you, yeah, be, you a, boring, be a bit boring. Yeah, I need to keep active. Yeah, I would love to go to places Barbados and stuff like that. You mm. know, just proper tropical, tropical. I think for me, mate, be like New Zealand. I think. Yeah. Yeah, I should have gone. I should have gone there when I was at uh, Australia. You fucking right next door to mm. it. Why not? You know. Yeah, Bali. Yeah, Bali would be nice. You've been to Bali, right? No, no, not been Bali, mate. Okay. Um, see, the thing is, I don't know because I've never been there. Sounds stupid. What New Zealand? No, no, no. I don't know what place. Yeah, yeah. I've only seen pictures. Yeah. So it's hard to tell. Yeah, of course it is. Or somewhere like Iceland or Canada. I want to go Iceland, Canada, New Zealand. I want to go to all. I them. would, I would love to see the whole entire world. I'll be honest with you. Me too, mate. I would love to. Yeah. Because just imagine. Just imagine being on your deathbed and not seeing any other part of the world. Oh, mate. Some people are like that, though. They've never left. They've never traveled, you know? Well, you only got to go back 50, 60, you know, go back to the 1940s and 50s. People people didn't go up on holiday back then, did they? No, no. The guy at work no. I work with, his, his grandparents, they used to holiday to Plymouth. So they're living like Cornwall yeah, yeah. and Newquay yeah. or wherever. <laughs> and on the summer holidays, they'd go to Plymouth for a week. There's a guy That's here, crazy, there's man. a guy in this building, he does that journey every day to work. Oh, he mate. lives in Plymouth. <laughs> no. Yeah, hey. that's, that's a bit of a trek, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I said. He goes, but I love my job. Like, All right. Yeah, fair enough. He goes, man. if you love your job, you'd, you'd travel anywhere. Yeah, yeah. Um, But uh, no, I'd love to see the whole world, mate. And I never used to be like it. And mm. I understand where people are like, I'm not bothered, especially when I moved to Newquay. People were like you want to go over, you want to go experience the world. I was like, why? Yeah, yeah. I've got the country here. Yeah, I've got the beaches here. I've got the summer in the sun. Yeah, I've got the <coughs> sun in the summer. There's no need. But then I started going other places. And I was like, oh wow, mm. just that feeling. It's just it's a weird feeling, isn't it? When you know you're abroad, yeah. the sound, the smells, you know, the people, the food. It the, makes the me obvious. feel. It makes me feel lucky, mate, when mm. I'm on holiday. That, yeah. Not that I'm on holiday. It makes me feel lucky that we've got what we've got in this yeah. country and all that. Because he, you know, even just anywhere, Greece, anywhere like that, you know, yeah. they are. Don't know what it is. Don't know what it is. Lucky might not be the right word. I don't know. It's well, like grateful. Or yeah, what you've grateful. Got, yeah. yeah, definitely, yeah. mate. Yeah. I suppose it depends on where you go because yeah. some, you know, some places over there are like. Yeah, proper expensive and really high. Yeah, market. they are, mate. To be yeah. fair, yeah, you you get pockets of that all around the world. Yeah, of course you do. You know, you and again, I think that goes down to a lot of the social social media, mm. <clears throat> where oh look at this the, the, this place and where people need this and people need that, and you go to somewhere else, mm. and this, you know, a few miles up the road one and they're they're living the high life. That's you it. get pockets, and but you don't you don't see all that. No, and again. You can have places which, for example, perfect example, Paris, apparently, um, you know, in, in France, Paris is supposed to be beautiful. Uh, obviously, you know, what, is, what do they call it? The the um, the city of love. Yeah. Yeah. Um, lights are beautiful, clean. You literally go outside a radius of um, Paris and it just goes downhill. Unsafe. Uh, dirty, grimy. Yeah, yeah, mate. Flat. Yeah. So it yeah, there's depends pockets, on where, like where you, you go. Yeah. So um, like Bangkok, you know, big city. That's what like she said. 
<laughs> but there's money there, you know? There's massive skyscrapers and yeah. all that. And then literally a mile away, yeah. there's slums next to the river. And people, yeah, you know, I know. People have got no money. Like, I know. Their kids are out begging. But, yeah. You know, that's fucking bad, that is. Yeah. That is bad, mate. The I've world. often thought about... There's one... I don't want to get too deep because it's not even a question. I don't want to go off course, but... One of the things with this channel that and I don't want to come across a bit sort of like, <clears throat> I don't know, little Miss World, Miss Universe type thing. But when, now that I've um, gained a little bit of traction in the media side of things and, you know, have like an, an influence, a small influence on certain things. Mm. I've said to Nancy, I've said, I, I have to, and this is not sort of, I should, I have to do something to give something back or to make a difference in the world. Pay and it forward, mate, yeah. It sounds really, really sort of, I don't know, a bit, bit cringy. Yeah, yeah. But, um, but that doesn't have to be big thing. It could be, no. it could be loads of little small things. Yeah, yeah. But, but I would love to do, I, lo I would love to help children. Yeah. Absolutely love children. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. um, That'd be awesome. But you need to realise as well, you help not to big you up too much and fucking hell. You know, that your head will swell and burst out the fucking walls. But you help a lot of people anyway, mate, mentally. Well, I appreciate that, mate. Uh, how many comments have you seen? Yeah. People, oh, you helped me through COVID, you, you know. Yeah. You made me laugh. People watch your videos just to fucking zone out and just laugh. Yeah. Yeah. And you well, you I still make that. me laugh, and I've known you for fucking years, so that's <laughs> saying something, isn't it? Yeah. But I think that, um, and I appreciate that, and that's a lovely feeling. That's another reason why I do the You YouTube. already do it, mate. You make a massive difference to people. But wouldn't it be amazing um, to go to, you know, these hospitals and yeah, things like yeah. that where the kids have, like, haven't got much... Uh, I fuck it. I well up now just thinking about it, mate. Oh, mate, yeah. I, uh, and that's I don't one know of, if I could do it. Uh, yeah, it's exactly that what reason, I thought. I, I that's would just exactly walk in what and I just thought. cry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, you'd have to be really, <clears throat> really strong. But I would love to, love to go in there and try to make a difference in some way, financially or do it. whatever. Do it. Yeah, I, I, I will do it. You know, at one point mm. where I feel like I can make a really good mm. difference. I know somebody, mate, and he does an Easter egg ride. Um, I don't know know somebody. I know of somebody that does it. And he gets all the motorbikers. They all get together. On a, you a, remember you telling me, yeah. And they yeah. go to the children's hospital at Easter yeah, and yeah. deliver Easter eggs. Yeah. You know, that people have donated yeah. for the sick kids. It's fucking amazing. Yeah. You know? You can yeah. easily do something like that. It would... It would be so damn tough. Like... You think about the people that work in those hospitals and, you know? Different league, mate. <sighs> Different league. Yeah. People man. that do a job like that, they're doing it for the love, man. You know, yeah, there ain't many absolutely. jobs like that. Teachers. Yeah. Teachers do it for the love. They yeah. don't do it for the fucking yeah. money because they're the least paid. Mm. If you add up their hours, they're probably on fucking five pound an hour. Oh, I know. It's terrible. I know. But another thing, nurses, mate. Nurses. Different league, Absolutely. Mate. Yeah. They're doing it because they want to help people and they like help you know yeah they're not doing it because they want to be rich yeah you know and also you know i might get a, a bit of stick for this <clears throat> but <clears throat> and it may be because of you know who brought me up but the police force mate yeah yeah you know it what they do that they they are technically risking their lives every time they go to work yeah yeah right? they want to help people don't they yeah yeah you know, there might be, there's going to be a pocket of, of people that go, I'm going to join the police force because it's, you know, it's a good, it's a good job. Mm. It's going to help me when I retire. It's a career. You know, there's going to be pockets of people go, I want to make a difference. I really want to. And mm. yes, obviously there's going to be pockets of people be like, I just want to go in and have power. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I don't think, I don't think, I think that is a minority. Yeah. Because it's I've, good got, and bad of all I've got a friend who is um, going for the police force as it stands now, right? Mate, how the tests and stuff oh, yeah, I know. to go get into there is, and I, th I said to him, I said, I thought it would be pretty easy considering that there's a need for the police. No, it, it's really mate, it is tough they as make it F. Tough. Yeah. yeah. So I don't think you're going to get these people that just want to sworn in and just throw their weight around. Obviously you do. Mm. And I also think that um, when it comes to and I, I saw this in my stepdad, you know, because he was strict. He was, you know, he, he didn't treat us kids great at all. But 
I remember, th- I, you know, I think to myself, you would just imagine every single day of your life going to work, going to door to door, or these the problems here, problems there, dealing with, you know, alcoholics, people that want to fight you, people that are calling you names, people that are spitting at you every single day of your life. Yeah. It would piss you off come the end. Oh, wouldn't fucking it? hell. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But, and, you know, these, these people are risking their lives, yeah. you know? They're my, only be doing my what they're step, My stepbrother was a copper. I, I, I think he might he might still be. Yeah. I think he is, actually, to be fair. I, I'm, I've got in the back of my head because I haven't seen him for years. Mm. It's my my mum's um, husband's. He's not my real brother, basically. Yeah, 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 yeah. But he, he said, I was asking him about it, he's basically just like um, 75% of his calls and stuff was all domestic abuse. Really? So he's called out for an argument. Yeah, you know, two, a couple was having an argument and it got was getting a bit heated. Yeah, and he said they're just an agony ant. You know, yeah. they'd get called out, they'd sit down, have a cup of tea, and they'd chat to the people yeah. and try and calm them down. And on to the next one. Yeah, he said honestly, seventy five percent of it was that in UK. Yeah, just yeah, I don't think it was what he wanted, what he thought he was signing up for. Right, you know. But I suppose it depends on where you are. In the, yeah, in the, of course it does. You know, if yeah. you. If you're in London, mate. Yeah, it could be anything. Imagine being a it? copper in London. No, nah, no, thanks, mate. <sighs> Get shanked, man. Get chefed up, blood. <laughs> Get chefed up, man. <laughs> should make fun of that, really. No, you shouldn't, but, no. you know, fuck me, man. Uh, it's, that's we're the, joking. Yeah, of course. Well, what? What? Oh, <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. I've got a song. This is now. happening a lot. Yeah. Ben is fucking dodgy fucking sticker things or whatever. Um, I forgot he could hear me. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Let me just, let me try and find one for you here a minute. I can't even remember what the initial question was when we were talking about jobs and how we got onto that. Oh, here's one. It is a good one. Ben, can you have a podcast with Mr. Bannon? My two favorite YouTubers together would be great. Well, he's already said yes. Yeah. Uh, one once we get sort of settled and we're yeah. settled now, so yeah. I think after not this one coming up this weekend, <coughs> after the following one, which is even I would say in a different world, yeah, even bigger, yeah, than the one we got on the weekend, yeah, yeah. Um, then I think, yeah, give him another call and yeah, go right. for that, mate, Mr. Bannon. That's gonna be so good. Yeah, yeah? I can listen the to the stories, for hours, mate. mate. Yeah, for, I love yeah. his voice as well. Yeah, would you care to make an hour-long reaction marathon on a regular basis, maybe once a month or every two weeks? Casper site is too addictive. Oh, the twenty-minute length ones are over too freaking soon. That's Victoria Neverland, and she's a member. You bloody legend. Um. Hour long, hour long. Uh, well, I do when it's react to the sort of you know um, mind C T V, mind C T V, and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. That's usually an hour. Yeah. Um, it gets too I, much I, if it was all the time, though, wouldn't it? An hour long reaction. Yeah. Just what? There's plenty of videos on your channel, mate. I if think you sometimes to watch reactions yeah. for an hour, you can easy, can't you? I, I think sometimes less is more. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, look, look at the look at the era now when we're into like TikTok. Mm. You know, three mi- three minute videos max. Yeah. You know, it's just scroll, 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 isn't it? You know, people's attention span so fucking small now. As yeah. Well, isn't it? Yeah. It's like my kids, dude. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, with the phones, it's just nuts. You've got to limit that shit, aren't you? When you're young, have to. Otherwise, it just becomes it's so obsessive. I know. And they phones and that. It's, it's well, funny enough. <laughs> <laughs> I actually saw a TikTok video today saying, get off social media. But you was on TikTok. <laughs> I know. And do you know what I did? I crossed it out. Did you? I thought, you stupid bat. Like, you know, okay, your message was great and clearly effective because I actually turned it off then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he was saying it's designed specifically to um, to stimulate your, I can't remember what it was now, your like endorphins to stimulate what makes you feel happy. Yeah, yeah. 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 And so it's basically artificially stimulating that mm. over and over and over and, and wearing it out. Mm. So no, the normal things in life that should make you happy, 
like uh, a I don't know a bird chirping in the tree or you know the sun rising and things like that you know that releases these endorphins it doesn't work so much now because you you you're punching the shit out of you this yeah, you know yeah. um and he started off by saying have you ever watched a movie where you feel like you know you're getting agitated because you want to skip it or yeah, you know, yeah. your concentration span is low yeah and this is because of the social media because you're constantly trying to get that stimulant Fuck you know hell. It's true though. Yeah, I'm glad I, I'm at, not feeling it. Look at YouTube f- Shorts as well. Like, yeah. you know YouTube Shorts. It's I think it's more for analytics. It's more to get a gauge when you're YouTube shorting. Say they they know the ones you you've watched for three seconds and got and swiped. Mm. Like nah, swipe nah, swipe. Mm. They know the ones you've watched all the way to the end. Yeah, they know the ones you've skipped halfway through. Yeah, and they they'll they'll tailor that to that. Well, they do that. With, they do that with every video, oh, no, it's whether it's twenty crazy. minutes an hour, three hours, whatever. You know, you watch time. <clears throat> um, I need to look at more questions as well. Just scroll, mate, and then just stop. What are you most scared of, Ashley Morgan? Well, I know an Ashley Morgan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I used to work with him. What? I can't. Is that the same dude? I have no idea. Um. What are you the most scared of? Uh, do you know what I'm mostly scared of? <laughs> what was that? Sorry. It's not my dog. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think most people would say death, right? Because that is technically, in fact, um, it's a fact that I think heights and death is the is the two highest things that people are afraid of so forgetting about that um no 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 no, it's not it's not well death for me no, is the, not it's not height sorry it's um social embarrassment social embarrassment right yeah like uh, shitting yourself in morrison's or yeah like all of a sudden being naked in the middle of the crowd <laughs> and stuff like that you know or you know or dying that, yeah but <laughs> i did a helicopter you know, <laughs> I, I i was i yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Party boy. <laughs> bow, 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 bow. <laughs> yes, mate. Oh, man. oh god. That's where you want to be invisible, isn't it? Yeah. Um But no, one of my one and this this is a bit like deep, but I occasionally think of it when I'm driving. Accidentally hurting somebody. Yeah. And what like with your car? With my car, <coughs> running somebody over, taking somebody's life by accident. And then my life just completely changing. Yeah. It, prison, lost everything. Yeah. That is one of my biggest fear. For something to happen out of my control, yeah, it yeah. just changes my whole life. Yeah. Obviously, you can say out of control, you can dr- drive safely, but you never know. Yeah, yeah, you, know? you never know. Um, and you can get locked up for it pretty easily. Exactly. If they say, exactly. like, you was fucking going three mile an hour over the speed limit. Yeah, yeah. But that's one of my biggest, that's one of my biggest fears. Is it? Yeah. Fuck. I mean, just imagine that though, mate. You're just casually going, doing yeah. your normal route to work. Yeah. And all of a sudden this ball comes out and the bloody, you know, in front of a car and boom. Yeah. That's it. And not <clears> only <throat> taking somebody's life, like a, a child or something. It's horrible to think about how you would deal with that, live mm. with that. Not only, I mean, f- prison would be a piece of piss. It's actually living with taking somebody's, yeah, yeah. Lo- you, you know, yeah. an innocent person. That would be tough. Yeah, man. And then obviously your marriage would be under strain. You, you you wouldn't see your kids. You wouldn't see your wife. You, you so that's what you're most scared of is like your life basically ending through not of not of your not your fault. Yeah, yeah. Like not dying, but your life's over pretty much. <laughs> yeah, just at like a freak accident mm. out of your control just ruins your life. So you think about that a lot. No, I don't think about it a lot. Right. But occasionally, I, I, you know, when I'm, say I, I'm going on a road and I'm driving too too fast, yeah. I'm like, just calm down, Ben. And then I just think, what if? Yeah, yeah. You know, and that is, that's a scary thing to think about. Mm. That's the type of thing you think about on a motorbike, mate. Yeah. 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 When you're screaming on a motorbike. Yeah. Think, if my chain comes off now and just locks the back wheel up. Yeah. <laughs> you're a goner. Yeah. Mate. But you it, don't, mate. It, it, at the time you don't think about shit no like you that don't when no. you're on a bike and, and that, that's it if you did you'd be driving around at fucking 20 mile an hour everywhere and you wouldn't ride it yeah yeah and you know part of me um 
is thankful that I'm not one of these young teenagers now that just thinks that you're just, you know, mm. made out of titanium, mm. you know, and you, you can get hurt and things can, you know, you older and wiser, the better wisdom. Yeah. You know, my biggest fear has probably got to be that my family, like my family get hurt, hurt. my kids, you know? Yeah. That's, that's now you made me fear. feel like a right fucking selfish little. No, bastard. no, I'm not. I'm just, I'm just thinking. Like, <laughs> I've, I've actually been laid in bed before thinking that shit. I think horrible thoughts about accidents that my kids could have. Yeah. And I have to force myself to stop. Yeah. You know, it keeps me fucking awake. Really. Like when my kids were young. Yeah. Like I used to I'm up in the loft, down down the stairs from my loft. There's no handrails. Mm. And I think to myself, oh, like little three year old, my little three year old lad. Yeah. He falls down there, and then I'll picture it in my head like he's falling down. I'll see him fall down the stairs, hit the wall at the bottom, yeah. break his neck. You know, and I used to get, I used to oh get God. all worked up about it. Bloody hell! Yeah. See, no, I don't think like that. Like because my kids are in an accident, or I'm losing my kids to an accident, or falling off a cliff, or you know, my kids slipped off a cliff or something. As oh I'm, Christ, man! Think yeah. about that. Yeah, I'd much, I'd much rather go to prison myself and yeah. do time and, and and live with the worry of taking somebody's life than have yeah. my child. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Fuck me. That's. Yeah, of course. I would... But in regards to, like, fear of everyday life shit that happens... Yeah. I don't really know what I'm scared of. You know, like, f stuff you should be scared of. Yeah. You know? Like, can ghosts? you think of anything? Should you be scared of ghosts? Well, I don't know. They might all be nice, mate. Well, they might be. I doubt it. How many people do you know that have been hurt by ghosts? Well... Ryan got scratched, didn't he? <laughs> he did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he did. No, but no, you're right. I think obviously l losing your own child or a family member, fuck me, that's mm. <laughs> devastating. Yeah, and that's yeah. probably, to be fair, yeah, that would be the worst the fear. fear. Yeah, but I, I don't, I don't connect that with a fear. That's just yeah, because you're not scared of it all the time. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But like what you said, like driving, having an accident when you're driving, you drive all the fucking time. Yeah, if you had a yeah. fear of that, you know, that'd be horrible, wouldn't it? Oh right, yeah, yeah. You know? But I, I, you know, without going too deep, I suppose a fear, you know, I think the person's thinking maybe like of the dark or, or ghosts, you know, or shadow heights bastard. or something like that. You know, I don't really have fears. No, because what I try to do is I try to fight them. Are you good with heights? Um, I I tease myself with heights. I never used to be, but I'll push myself to be okay with heights. I'll yeah. I'll deliberately go somewhere high just to be like. Fuck off, Ben. Do you go dizzy? It's only the hot. No. 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 I will. I, and, and this is a. <clears throat> See, I do, and apparently, I do. This, that's actually fact that people who are afraid of heights aren't afraid of heights. They're afraid of jumping. That's their fear. What? Well, because they're scared they want to jump off. Yeah. Man, that's so weird. That is weird, isn't it? And I know what you mean. It's, it's them going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, uh, yeah. You know when you just go. You, like, I get uh, it when you because, jump, but you because don't. I visual, when I'm scared of heights, like I, I visualize falling off, mm. so I visualize myself, yeah, falling down there. Because if you were stood at the edge of a curb, right yeah. on a road, yeah. you could stand there quite easily, yeah, couldn't you? You see, people, for a day, yeah, yeah. right? But if that was a sheer drop, if that was a you'd curb be like that big, five hundred foot up, you'd be yeah, off, you'd be gone. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. But I used to be afraid of the dark when I was a kid. I think most kids were. Yeah. And it's funny because I, um, last time we were here, I said, I'm just going to go to the toilet. And I went downstairs. And that toilet downstairs, um, and this is quite a new building for us, right? Yeah. It's quite a large, it's like quite a large bathroom right. toilet yeah. down there, as you've seen. But um, it needs to be for the size of your shit. <laughs> <laughs> when that door closes, I, I, I walked in there and I thought it was an automatic light. Was it not? No. Uh, so the door closed <laughs> and I stood there, mate. Listen, I, I honestly, I stood there taking a piss and in my head, and there's two cubicles behind me. And I'm thinking, uh, no, uh, dude, can you imagine? Oh, <laughs> fucking hell, mate. I'm like that in my head. Just, just fight it, fight it. What, it's so fine. you pissed in the, in the pitch I'm, black? Yeah, I'm pissing. Yeah, I'm, I'm listening to the piss, making sure it hit in the fucking in the bowl. That. Uh, oh, mate. And I, I, there was the um, Araya. I played the oh, yeah, Araya yeah, yeah, yeah. game, right? Yeah. And in that game, you go into a cubicle, right? And it starts to go uh, like that. And she looks over the top oh, in VR, yeah, right? Shit, my brick, mate. Shit, yeah, a brick. Yeah. And that stuff's going from my head. I'm thinking, Ben, there's nothing in the dark which isn't in the light. 
There's nothing in the dark. It's in the light. Just fuck it. It's fine. It's fine. You're a grown man. Don't be fucking stupid. And I, you know, I was pushing that piss out quick, mate. I bet. Yeah. Mate, I bet. Yeah. But yeah, you go down there. It's pitch. Can you remember that Visage game? Yeah. And when I saw the trailer. Yeah. There was a trailer where someone came for you in the cupboard. Can you remember? Yeah. That wasn't in the real game, was it? Yeah, it was. Was right it? Right near the very end, by the mirrors. When you open up the... Um... So you're in like a closet. Yeah. I remember being in the closet yeah. and that like ring bitch thing it... comes towards you. Do no, you visage, that? No, that... The visage thing had trailer. long fingers. Like it was long, like ra- uh, blade, bladed fingers. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can't... No, it's off topic there, but when you said a rare, I thought of it. Yeah. Right. Array was a good bloody film, mate. That was one of the old old ones, but it was fucking amazing. Amazing. Jesus, man. There's more. I'm sure there's more than 100 comments here. Yeah. How tall are you? <laughs> <laughs> um, how tall is Mace, actually? That's the only one I replied to. Have you seen? Oh. I replied to that. Did you? Yeah. What did you say? I told him how tall I was. Three foot two. Yeah. On a scale Why of... Why is the outro on your video so loud? <laughs> I, I usually turn it down. From Gen R. Okay, I'll keep it down. What car are you driving? Audi A4. Audi A4. Quattro. Black edition. S-Line. It's nice. Where did the Hassan Baba videos go? Yeah. it's a good point. I think <clears> I, <throat> I stopped them for a while because I was getting a little bit um, used to the same thing. I mm. wanted to just freshen it up. Yeah. You know? What did you do before YouTube? Uh, branch manager at Screwfix, and before that, a plasterer. Yeah. And then before that, just retail jobs. Plastering was a good job. Good money, mate, now. Plasterers. I mean, it was back then. It's hard work, though, mate. Yeah, it is. You know, there's a reason they earn that money. So if yeah. I can break themselves. If you was a ghost, what would you do? If I was a ghost? Yeah. Be pretty pissed off. I'd fucking haunt people if I was a ghost. That's what they're doing it. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, yeah, look right. at you. Do you wake up in the morning and just piss excellence, or do you have to work at it? Oh God. Did ever did ever anything paranormal happen to you in your home after reacting to so, uh, to so many ghost videos? Evil Alex, no. No. Straight answer. The scariest thing from all our ghost hunts was that voice, that rest. Remember that? Yeah, but we didn't hear that. Tired? No, we didn't hear it, did we? No, that was in editing. We heard that. But that well, was... I didn't even hear it in editing. It was you that told me. I still get, I get chills now when I listen to it now. Yeah, I listen to it. I just chill That's up. That's clear as day, mate. Rest. rest. That's fucking scary. That. That is, man. Yeah. What other things scare you? <clears throat> um. Why does everyone want to know what you're scared of? I don't know. Like I say, I'm You're not scared of much. No, I'm not, no. Only only things that I can't explain. Yeah? So for example, the paranormal. Yeah, can't explain yeah. it. It Aliens. could be it could be real, it could not be real. See, paranormal I'm afraid of that more than the aliens. Mm. If I I would be I would oh, no, I'm more scared of aliens than ghosts. Are you? Yeah, yeah. Hundred yeah? percent. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. So aliens could probe you, couldn't they? <laughs> They'd probe you. They'd like you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. Here we go, Mason. There's one for you, dude. What are you most proud of in your life? Um, if you could give your past self advice, what would it be? Holy shit. Who is deep, someone you look up to and why? Kaylee Beck. Holy shit. There's like three questions in there. Okay. What are you most proud of? Yeah. Being a dad, I think, mate. Yeah. Being a, a good dad. Mm. Yeah. You are that's, a good dad. fucking easy, isn't You it? are a really good dad. Cheers, mate. You are. Cheers, mate. Yeah. Um, what's the other bit? Um, if you could give your past self advice, what would it be? Past self. If I could give myself advice, what, as a kid or as like a teenager? Well, if you could, <clears throat> if you could just put that spliff down. <laughs> <laughs> Stop you skateboarding! Just, you're gonna break your leg. If you were just overseeing your your life, you know, what would you say to yourself? Or let's just say, you, you, you know, advice to somebody younger. 
growing um, up. <clears throat> don't know. I'm pretty happy, man. Um, I don't know. I have to think about that. Come back to it. That's a hard one, mate. Because you, there's there's loads of shit. Like I'm not gonna say, oh, I wish I studied more hard, like worked harder at school and college and got a better job. Mm. But for what? Got a better. Yeah, could say it, not for money. I just wish I had a better job that I enjoyed more. Right. You know, <clears throat> rather doing something that you want to do. You know. Yeah. So that's the advice you would give your younger self or somebody younger. My younger self would be to follow. Work harder at school. Work. Follow your dream. Right. Even if it means. Like, even if it's against the grain, even if it's fucking, you think it's impossible when you're a kid. Yeah. You know, don't let it knock you down. Do it when you're a kid. Take what Simon said, Simon Squibb, you know? Yeah. I, for me, it's easier as a kid to start to, like, chase your dream than when you're trapped mm. with kids, with yeah. a job, with a mortgage, with bills, with a dog, with a cat, with a hamster, <laughs> with a fucking lizard that lives 25 years and no one cares for anymore. <laughs> Um, yeah no definitely live your dream absolutely I would I would say that yeah yeah live like your dream job chase your dream job or chase what do what make makes you happy mate I because I funny enough when I was scanning I scanned through this about half an hour or something after I posted it and I did see something very similar to this I think it was um, in fact pretty much unless this was the actual question but I read it sort of differently it was something about what advice would you give yourself? Or no, 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 no. I no. saw that. I saw uh, some some. What 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 advice would you give uh, a young person struggling? That's what I saw. Oh, and right. I don't know who it was. Right. And I was like, oh, okay. And they're struggling in what way? Mentally. Just a young kid, just struggling through the, through the days. You know, just probably. Clearly, I don't know, being bullied or, or something like that, or just, just I mean, it's it's tough being a kid. Yeah, yeah. You know, it really is. And I, I, I thought, I hope that question gets brought up, and I'm glad I remembered it. I'm glad I saw that because I thought about it, and I was like, right, yeah, I know what I, I would say. I would say that, and I know I joke about it, but I'm f I'm 42 years old now, okay? Um, old and I'm all right. Yeah, mm. there is. T there's been the amount of times throughout my life where I feel like my life is so damn bad. Yeah, or something's happened to me. I've made a decision, the worst decision possible. Something what I've done is so embarrassing. I wish I never did something. Yeah, yeah. Wish I never said something. Yeah. And it is the worst thing. And I feel like that moment in time. I'm never going to get over this. A breakup of a relationship, I feel like it's the worst thing. How is there any future, you know? But every single thing that has been like exponential, like t absolutely horrible thing in my life, every single thing that I look back on now, I just go, <laughs> who fucking cares? Yeah, yeah, it don't matter. Who fucking cares? Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. It does at the time. I got though, over that. It? I got over this. At the time, it does. It's yeah, like fucking end exactly. Of the world, you think you don't. You yeah. you think at that time, I am not going to get over this. This is going to scar me for life. Mm. Doesn't. No. It doesn't. You just adapt, and all those things build you up to who you are. Yeah, yeah. You know, today, yeah. and that's the advice that I would I would give anybody who is struggling, growing it, up or things like that. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's going to be all right. Yeah. You know, and for, in 42 years, you've made some pretty big, bad decisions well, and fuck have. up and, and you, stuff like that. You, you fucking know? have. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's what I would. That's good advice, mate. Yeah. It's a good advice that it just didn't take. In one sentence, explain the universe. You <laughs> can't. <laughs> An ever expanding mass filled with potential life. Okay. How much hate mail do you get for not mocking doing impressions? <laughs> <laughs> oh, not mocking brackets. Um, you're brilliant at impressions. A few. You I'm should not, do it. You I'm not brilliant at all. But you're funny at impressions. Oh, Put it. I'll, I'll word it a different way. <laughs> yeah. Um, I I've got a few, but usually it's not hate. <gasps> it's not hate. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that one. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's um, oh, 
it's not it, it comes from a good place usually if i get hate mail it's not hate oh hate mail yeah i thought it was on about impressions no 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 how much you hate mail do you me. get for brackets not mocking doing impressions oh okay um i've had people email me saying you shouldn't you know you, you shouldn't do um uh bismillah and all this sort of stuff yeah yeah you know? yeah yeah um the difference with you, mate, it's not coming from a bad place. This is it. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, no offense, but you're saying it just because it's fucking yeah. cool and it's on the video. You're yeah. not, not giving it any thought. Yeah. You know? I'm I'm doing it to try to sound like them. Yeah, it's and, just cool, isn't it? And, it yeah, matter, copy, copying them. Yeah. yeah. It's like as if I did an Arnold yeah. impression or a Scottish impression exactly or the same. An American impression. It's exactly the same, mate. It's me yeah. going, look at that, me fucking head. <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly the same yeah. as you going, bismillah. Yeah. It's exactly the same. Yeah. So, yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but not much. About, about maybe three. Yeah. You know? You don't get much hate well, there, I, man. Yeah, no, no. But maybe maybe three. But I'm probably going to get landed with loads of hate mail now. <clears throat> Someone said, where did your sayings come from? So they're hilarious. But it's Rambo it, obviously. That's come from... Uh, I don't John know. Rambo, isn't it? it yeah, but he's not said that. I know what you're saying. No, no, you uh, made it, him it's up. It's just spontaneous. Yeah, yeah. You've yeah made him which up, ends yeah. up ends up being, you know, people in comments come up with it and f- find it funny, and you yeah. know, you just you just go with it. It snowballs, don't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you believe in God? Do you oh, believe in God? Fucking no, I, mm, I don't know, mate. No, I don't think I. I don't believe in God. No. Okay. No. Do you believe in God? It's one of those things where I natu- I would say no. However, I don't like saying that. Yeah, I think that's what it is with me. And a lot of people would say, well, that's that's because that's God saying. Yeah, Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And I just don't... Yeah, don't get me started, man. You know? Yeah. It's probably not a good topic it's, to talk about, to be fair. Religion, you know? It's... um. Or your thoughts once, on religion. Somebody once said to me... Uh, it's a good story, isn't it? Yeah. But that's... it's. I, I think what I do believe in is living life like there is a God mm. and doing what the Bible says, like, you know, respect thy neighbor and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. I d- I've never read the Bible. No, I haven't. I started reading it. Has anyone? What do you mean, has anyone? Has anyone read it? Are you kidding me? I don't know, mate. Are you fucking kidding yeah, me? Yeah, shut up. <laughs> no, no, no one's read the Bible, I mate. Think, I think you get All these vicars and priests. Ah, yeah. you know, what's that, yeah? <laughs> they Put they on just the top shelf. Bits. They just read bits, though, don't no, they? No, they thoroughly... <laughs> they thoroughly... <laughs> study it. Stu- they do. Yeah, they no, thoroughly they do, study yeah. it. And a lot, of people, a lot of people read it every day, you know, and I respect that, but, you know, I started reading it and mm. then straight away I was seeing all these loopholes. <laughs> I, saw, I was like, it's, oh, well, this, it's, doesn't, it's, this doesn't make sense. It's this, written like that, so you can. Um, it's very adaptable, isn't it? Yeah, you can make. Yeah, you can. You can. You can read something, you, and yeah. you'd be like, "Oh, that's that. That's yeah. that. That relates to that." that mm-hmm. You know. It's, I think at the end of the day, you know, uh, I have like Stephen fucking Fry, good conversations. Like Stephen with, Fry once said, he, he said, um, "If he did meet God, he would. He would." He would say, "How dare you?" Did you see that clip? What he did? No. So this, um, <clears throat> I don't know who it was. Somebody who's very religious. He said, uh, "If you did, it, let's just say, for example, God is um, real, yeah. and you had your chance to meet him, what would you say?" And Stephen Fry said, "How dare you?" What for all the hurt in the world? How it? dare you? Yeah. Yeah, but then they. W- he said, "Why would you put a?" A creature inside a child's eye that it, it burrows into its eyeball, into its brain, or something like that. Mm. Why would you create something like that? You know. And I thought, it, like, it, it resonated. Isn't, but isn't that the devil? Well, then the the argument would be: if there is a devil, why doesn't God just, if he's all mighty and powerful, get rid of the devil? Why did he create the devil? So, if there's a devil, why don't the devil just get rid of God? Because the devil's <clears> not powerful <throat> enough. Well, Apparently, God is all mighty. God technically but made the devil, right? Well, the, the, fallen, de- the fallen angel. The devil's a fallen angel, yeah. Yeah. So he could just go like that if he wanted to. That's the argument. Yeah, but you can't you can't appre- the, you can't appreciate the good if there's no bad. Exactly. You exactly. can't appreciate 
Ex- you know, exactly. there has to be hurt. Yeah. There has to be suffering to, in order to feel yeah the opposite. Yeah. It's fucking yeah, crazy. But when you, it, it goes it, a bit it, deep, doesn't it? Wasn't there, you know, used to be life was once a paradise, you know? But then yeah. how would you recognize that as a paradise if that was the norm? <clears throat> I'm sort of with you on that. Somebody said, I had a, I've had a lot of conversations with, there's, there's a few people that I know that have lived their life by the Bible. Mm. And they have really good conversations with them, man. Mm. You know, yeah. really intelligent people. I love, I love the way, you know, they've always got an answer for something, but they talk to you nicely about it, you know? Yeah. They're not trying to say, oh, you're wrong, you're wrong. They, they, you know. Yeah. But um, someone once said to me, something bad happened to me once, and someone said to me, that wasn't, <clears> that because I was, I was the same as Stephen Fry. It's like, how fucking dare you? you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. If yeah. that's the case. I was yeah. having a conversation that, with somebody who was Christian. Yeah. And they said, and I said, if that's the case, then, then why would that happen? Mm. And he said, "He said, oh, that was my God. That was the devil that yeah. did that." And I was like, "Fuck off, mate!" Instantly, yeah. I just went, "Fuck off!" No, no way, yeah. no fucking way. And th- th- yeah, since then, I'm not really giving it much no. love, you know. Yeah, yeah, but uh, you know, the, qu- the 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 question is then, well, how the fuck did this thing happen? This big bang. Well, then you it, go back to the it goes back to that shit, doesn't it? It, where did, it started from somewhere, dude. Yeah, exactly. You know, everyone says, "I oh, don't believe." A big bang. I don't, where did the hydrogen come from that created yeah, the big bang? You yeah, know? it's it's a question that we'll we'll never have the answer to. But what we can say is that there was a big bang. It did start. Well, yeah, because they because you can see it, you can hear it, you can it. see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's evidence of it, isn't there, man? Yeah. Um, my my theory, okay, why we're here, um, I would say that the probability, if someone said, do you think that God put us here or aliens put us here? Aliens. Yeah. Yeah, man. Then the question would be, who put the aliens there? Yeah, yeah. You know? My theory is, someone someone said about a film, they said, I, I told, said my theory in Twitch chat, last yeah. night and someone said oh that's in a film artificial intelligence but my theory was that we are aliens yeah so humans yeah. evolve into aliens and yeah. they've put us here yeah to learn about their history yeah they're like oh they well, found out that you know like us with apes putting us putting apes in a zoo yeah you know yeah well this is my <laughs> this is what i've said about um elon musk putting us to mars it's just going to be a loop do you reckon Musk is an alien? No. <laughs> Imagine no. if he is, and that's why he wants to take us back to Mars. He talks like it, doesn't he? Yeah. But um, no, my thought is, I, I need your phone. So, okay, no, I use this. So, the cup is Mars, and the the phone is Earth technology. Yeah. Yeah. So, my theory is, we were once on a planet and we and the planet started because of our technology we started doing what we're doing to this planet so there was once somebody on that planet like elon musk right okay we got to jump ship because this earth is falling to pieces we've got the technology now to go to another planet right so then we go to earth all call- of us well no 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 a select, no. Few. A, select a select group right yeah probably the rich or something like that. Right. Okay. Yeah. Or the valuable. Um, well, you'd be fucked then. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. so that's a nice fact. So, uh, so then, the fear would be, we don't want to go. We we can't go down this route again because technology has literally killed us. Yeah. So we're going to put people onto this planet, which is yeah. You know, we're going to give them the bare minimum, give them the bare minimum. Because we want we want to start again. Yeah. Don't give them the don't give them the the uh, the knowledge of what we've got. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Or the resources, I should say. So anyway, they, a few people go on to Earth. Okay. We're there, and then that we start, you know, um, having children, growing a co- colony, and all that sort of stuff. But over years, we lose touch with what we've previously learned. Because we haven't got the we haven't got the books, we haven't got the resources, we lose touch. But surely people would have wrote books right from the start, yeah. 
Yeah, you yeah. Know, if you if you'd what? have come to this planet from somewhere else, you'd be like, right, I need to write all this down. I need to write how how to do this. Or oh, there was no, but you wouldn't because that's given them technology. So you say that you're going there with nothing, right? Hence, you've got now carving, oh, maybe, yeah. car- if, if carvings was, in if, the fucking. If it was pleased, you'd be yeah. like, if you write anything down, mate, you're fucking gone. Yeah. So you got you, you, yeah, you're yeah. going to carve stuff into the rocks, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And what's that in yeah, the pyramids? Yeah. The carvings. Yeah, yeah. yeah? Hieroglyph- hi- hieroglyphics. Hieroglyphs. Yeah. 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 So, and then, of course, you're going to paint pictures. Yeah. Which she's got of these rockets coming down, fucking alien lies and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So you're saying, yeah, fucking, this is Elon Musk. <laughs> and came down. We came down here with, in a ship. Anyway, th- then evolution starts happening again. Yeah. You know, uh, we start learning again. We start, yeah, yeah. you know, thinking. And that was 2022 yeah. years ago. Yeah, yeah. And then we get, and then all of a sudden, it was year zero. We when get, we, did that. we get to the point of where we are now, when we're starting looking back yeah. at all these like carvings and all, 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 all the history. And now we're getting to the point again where we got to jump ship. So we're going to go to Mars, right? That's a bad move, I think. So we're going to go to Mars, and we're going to do the same thing. We kept. We There's nothing up. on Mars, though. This is what I don't get. Why do they want? Why do they choose Mars? Because you there's can nothing there. Yeah, but you can make something there. But there's easily. no water. There's no atmosphere. There's but no you can grass. Make, you can make no an s- atmosphere. Can you? Yeah. How? By raising the temperature. Yeah, but then where's? Oh, nah, I don't believe all that shit. How can they make an atmosphere? It's not fucking total recall, mate. No, literally, it is. How? So where did they get the atmosphere from? So Elon Musk says there's two ways of um, making a an atmosphere. All oh, right. And you all oh, you got to heat. You've got to heat the the place up a little bit. How are they going to do that with nukes? Exactly. Yeah. And then, f- so what about the radiation? Oh, yeah, but the radiation will go in a couple of years or a ah, year. Fucking sticks around. Look at Chernobyl, mate. Yeah. And, unless, no, if there's no, that... unless if there's no fucking atmosphere, the, the radiation will just go out into the... Yeah. Into, it will but escape to space. Or the other, the other thing would be sort of making... Um, uh, <laughs> Bloke out there with fucking sticks warming no, the ground up. You'd, you'd make domes. <sighs> you'd make domes. You'd make domes, take water... Um, build plants, then you've got yourself a, an atmosphere. You've got yourself. Why not a, just stay on Earth and do that? Because Earth is dying. We're t- taking the resources, and also. But look at the state of Mars. Mars is already dead. But you, okay. Earth is dying. Yeah, 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 yeah. I Mars is saying. already dead. I think. Why go I to think, Mars? I think stay on Earth and fix it. I don't think the reason we're going to Mars is because we need to just yet. I think it's because we can. It's just one of those places. It's we one could, of those things we could let's, fucking go and it. build a dome. Exactly. Yeah, we, we yeah. could do it. Yeah. So therefore, so what I'm saying is, it's going to happen again. We're going to go to Mars because the the, the Earth is fucking up. Mm. And one day, again, you're not going to want to go to Mars with all the technology we've got because you're only going to, you know, quickly destroy that planet again. Yeah, yeah. So it's going to build up, and then we'll look back into the horizon, and we'll look at Earth, and it will look like Mars. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Right. Maybe we came from Mars. And then, and then, what will happen is we'll get the technology. And we'll go back to Earth and, and build Earth again. Yeah, and then we're, theory, we're just going to be jumping back. So I think that's what's happened. I think that maybe is a theory mm. of where we've come from other planets. We've been dropped here because that planet fucked up. Yeah. A bit like fucking Superman. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, man.